It has been close to a year since the beginning of the demise of Meep City and the reputation of Alex Neutron. For those who don't know, Alex Neutron is the creator of Meep City, the fourth most visited game in Roblox history. Meep City was the first Roblox game to hit 1 billion visits, and now has 14 times that with over 14 billion visits. It's also one of the most controversial Roblox games of all time due to its mass amounts of inappropriate content. A year ago, Chase Rooney made this tweet, which then inspired Laughability to make another Meep City video. Laughability's video blew up and made many realize how much bad stuff was in Meep City and how easy it was to find. Him going into Meep City and finding naked avatars literally within seconds of joining the game was viewed millions of times. Meep City parties were a feature in-game which harbored bypassing, online dating, adult content, and more. Parties allowed its owners to create clothing morphs and furniture, often used for adult activity. Party owners would dress up their avatars with often naked bypass clothes to attract other weirdos. The extreme amount of inappropriate content was unlike anything Roblox had ever seen before. Alex Neutron had known parties were full of online dating since way back in 2016, but did little to stop them. Some of the action taken to prevent inappropriate conduct, like removing beds from parties, was undone. He refused to hire moderators and told people to use Roblox reports, although it isn't possible to report parties to Roblox. There's no option to report custom in-game stuff like RP names, signs, morphs, and a typical mod likely won't look into it. He seemed so inconsiderate and desensitized to the issue that there were times where he seemed okay with it. He claimed to not have admin scripts or a mod team, but he mentioned mods and banning people before those claims. A month after Laughability's video released, which was followed by lots of other YouTubers covering it, Meep City got banned. The lack of action until Roblox put Meep City under review last year has led a lot of people asking why he did so little. And that's what this video will be about. Why Alex Neutron may have done so little about what happened in his game. Before we start, this isn't what you may expect. This is something far different than a typical, he just wants money claims. A few weeks ago, something was mentioned to be by one person, then I began doing research on it. What we found, alongside multiple highly trustworthy sources corroborating these stories, points to everything likely being true. What has been rediscovered may be a reason why he was so unconcerned with NSFW content in his game. What if I told you a blue Yoshi could be the key to why Meep City was led astray for so many years? I was told Alex Neutron is or was a furry who was not just into the simple harmless stuff, but was also into the darker things. I was skeptical at first, as I had never once heard of this in all the years Meep City was in shambles, but it appears to be true. I've heard and received info from multiple highly trustworthy sources who are deeply rooted within the Roblox community. This isn't just a random rumor. This is now something I've had multiple people tell me is true with evidence to back it up. From what I've been told and seen, it looks like Alex Neutron was into furry NSFW content while Meep City was full of NSFW parties. Some of you are probably wondering how this would tie into Meep City, and don't worry that will be explained later. First we'll just start off with the proof of him simply being a furry, which is difficult to find but it exists. There's not much directly from the Alex Neutron account, it's mostly mentions like this, except for the Yoshi stuff. Here we got multiple furries saying he was at some furry convention called MFF, aka Midwest Furry Fest, in 2016. He hit his furry side of him well, as there's hardly anything pointing to it on his main account, but mentions seem to confirm it. He has a ton of tweets about Yoshis though, specifically blue ones, which is very important to this case. I've been told Alex Neutron had a thing for furry NSFW content, not only normal furry characters, but also Yoshis. We're getting into the bad stuff now. First I want to point out these two tweets from his main account. Here he's asking what YIF is, and unfortunately YIF is slang for some not kid friendly furry content. First time he's asking a furry seemingly jokingly as if he already knows judging by how they're talking. The second time he asked someone who, just hours before on the same day, he said was only 13 years old. It doesn't seem to be an appropriate question to ask someone who is, according to you multiple times, a minor. Allegedly Alex Neutron was also following gay furry NSFW accounts around the time these tweets went up. 
Most of the Alex Neutron furry stuff comes from a different account, with a different name that very few know of. Alex Neutron had another name he went by, called Silly LB, and this is how he was connected to the bad stuff. Silly LB was formerly his Twitter username, until he changed it to Alex Neutron sometime in 2011. There's also a Roblox wiki account called Silly LB that did nothing but edit Alex Neutron wiki posts from 2013 to 2020. A commission for Zilly Yoshi, the former name of the Zilly LB account, can be seen in tweets about Alex Neutron. There's also a mention of RDC towards Zilly Yoshi in 2016, and we do know that Alex Neutron was at RDC 2016. And basically all of the Zilly LB accounts, which there are only a couple remaining, all post Yoshi stuff. I've been told this account, also called Zilly LB, and sharing the same blue Yoshi themes, posted NSFW stuff. Although the account is now gone, there are traces of it being involved in NSFW content and it being Alex Neutron. There are a couple ways to connect the account to Alex Neutron. This birthday one is clear. If you search Zilly LB or Zilly Yoshi, former name of that account, you'll see some very concerning tweets. They don't include the tag as the account was deleted and the name taken by someone else, but if you embed them, they'll show. In 2018, during a time Meep City parties were a known mess, there's interaction with adult furry accounts. One of these seems to imply that Zilly LB was looking for something and that reply included a link to naked furry underwear. To be looking at or even having interest in anything of that nature is pretty low and definitely a big red flag. Just a couple weeks later, that same NSFW furry account implied that Zilly LB was showing interest in NSFW content. It also seems to imply that Zilly LB may have even posted or created NSFW content as a tease shortly after. Judging by these tweets, it looks like Alex Neutron had interest in NSFW furry content along with possibly posting it. Although the definitely concerning tweets are mostly from 2018, I'm told this interest in NSFW stuff goes back further. The source who sent me this picture says that it was an NSFW gore account, but there's unfortunately no screenshots of his tweets. There are these tweets from Alex Neutron's main account that mention things supposedly related to that account, although they're about a year or so before mentions of Zilly LB or Zilly Yoshi show up, they line up with that account's alleged theme. And then there's stuff from outside of Twitter, which includes these really weird Yoshi Telegram stickers called Zilly. Fortunately, these aren't just simple Yoshi stickers, there are a few pretty suggestive ones included. For the final piece of evidence, we have this. A Discord message I'm told is from Alex Neutron from 2017. On its own, it's whatever, but combined with everything else we've gone over, it's a fairly disturbing message. And then right before voicing this video, I find this tweet from one of those Roblox confession accounts. This submission from 2015 lines up with what I'm told about Alex Neutron liking Yoshi's along with the other stuff. It gets worse when you realize he not only acknowledged it, but replies with shh, as if it's true and he's trying to cover it up. Again, this is one of those things that's kind of whatever on its own, but with everything else we've looked at, this looks really incriminating. This being from 2015 lines up with what I've been told about him being interested in NSFW content since that time. So to summarize, Alex Neutron's Zilly LB name can be tracked to this account, which shares the same blue Yoshi interest he has that was interacting with NSFW furry content while Meep City was in shambles. I strongly believe that what we've looked over is proof that Alex Neutron was into NSFW furry content during the times Meep City was full of NSFW parties. Now, some of you are probably wondering what any of this has to do with Alex Neutron's lack of action towards Meep City parties. How could liking NSFW furry content affect what action could be taken against NSFW content in Meep City over many years? I think Alex Neutron's probable liking of NSFW furry content may have desensitized him to the NSFW content in this game. Repeated viewing of NSFW content could have made Alex Neutron think less of the NSFW content in this game. Desensitization is a real psychological change that happens when you're repeatedly exposed to something. For a lightweight example, you are less likely to be afraid of big spiders if you see them all the time. I know from experience. The psychological response to seeing something so often can lead to one becoming less reactive to that something. 
Alex Neutron could have seen so much NSFW content, especially an odd type like furry stuff, that Meep City's NSFW stuff was minuscule in comparison. This could explain why he often brushed off the problem like it was nothing and seemed to have little concern. He may have thought of it as nothing serious because he was desensitized to NSFW content by looking at furry porn. This is just an idea, a theory, that I and others agree with. I doubt we'll have any confirmation from Alex Neutron himself. But I strongly feel this all makes sense and could be a big contributor to why Meep City was led astray for so many years. I know people are going to question why this video is being made now, and I've got a couple reasons for it. First of all, this is just something I've learned about now and I've been covering Meep City's issues for years. But more importantly, Meep City's issues over the course of 5 plus years transcends typical Roblox trauma. What we've looked at is years old, but it could explain a problem that happened for half a decade and could have huge effects on some people for years to come. Most don't really realize how serious of an issue Meep City's parties were, but comments like this put it into perspective. My sister was 7 and I'm 13 years old. My sister played Meep City, she got exposed into sexual content. I'm sick of Alex Neutron. Later she got interested in sexual things rather than roleplaying. I didn't let her play Meep City. I allowed her to play other roleplay games but not Meep City. I'm starting to worry about my sister, she's young and I'm her big brother. Quit Meep City now. Children are not supposed to see the kind of stuff that was regularly happening and easy to find in Meep City. For a kid to see that, get interested in it at such a young age can do serious psychological and developmental damage. Meep City had 13 billion visits and many NSFW parties had millions of likes. Imagine how many little kids got exposed to bad stuff because of the inaction towards it. That's why I feel it's still important to cover, because what happened in Meep City may not be over for many children. Mass NSFW content in Meep City and the disregard for it by Alex Neutron may have lasting negative effects on children. And now we may finally have one reason to why Alex Neutron seems so unconcerned with Meep City's major issues. I strongly believe Alex Neutron was desensitized to NSFW content prior to Meep City's party issues by taking a liking for adult furry content, which led to him thinking little of and taking small action against the problems in his game.